I recently passed the CCST networking exam, and so I wanted to share some real tips that I wish somebody had told me before I started studying, especially as somebody that did not have a lot of experience when it came to IT. If you feel like you're brand new, trust me, I was right there too. These are the tips that helped me get through studying straight from my own experience. I'm hoping these can help you save a little bit of time and a little bit of stress. As I've mentioned before, the exam covers a wide range of networking basics, IP addressing, protocols, commands, and so many more. At first, it can feel really overwhelming on what to study and how to study it. What helped me was breaking everything down into small focused pieces. For example, what helped me was focusing just on IP addressing at first and breaking it down until I understood it and then I would move on. Tackling each exam topic one by one made it so much easier to understand and manage the material. As someone who's a hands-on learner, I knew after going through the exam topics that I would personally like some hands-on experience before I took the exam. One thing I did was familiarize myself with my own at-home network by taking a look at the different devices, their names, and what they do, just to get a little bit more familiar before I took the exam. I also familiarized myself with what the different networking commands return by opening up Terminal on my Mac and trying out different ones until I understood. Practicing these commands on a real device made answering practice questions feel more natural. The key here is don't just memorize. First, focus on understanding how and why things work. Lastly, one of the biggest things that helped me along the way was leaning on Cisco's resources. Netacad's Network Technician Pathway not only helped me understand topics, but helped test me on them. The Cisco Learning Network not only helped me connect with others that will be taking the exam, but also get some advice and detailed study materials that they'd be willing to share. Some routes even led me to Cisco U, where I would check out free tutorials that had to do with general networking topics. Knowing that all of these resources were just within reach was really crucial for me to feel like, okay, I can do this and I'm not alone. So if you're starting from zero like I did, don't be discouraged. You can absolutely pass this exam. Start from the beginning, break things down, get hands-on practice, and use the resources available to you. You got this. Start your journey by checking out Netacad's free network technician pathway, and as you progress, explore different tutorials on Cisco U to deepen your knowledge.